All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're going to be working on the Polaris Razor 900. And before we get started on that, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. I really appreciate it. it really helps it all. Helps me grow and kind of rank up, and uh, you know, get shown a little more to new people. I've been noticing over the past couple of months that we've been growing a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. Get a little, few more views every day than what I usually get, which is a good thing, you know. That turns into a little bit of money for me to do projects and all that. And I have some big things in the works that I want to do. I just need to get some more views to, uh, to purchase some items. So I just wanted to say thanks before we get the video started. So let's get started and I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the razor. I'm going to be insulating the cab a little bit. You know, if you're riding these uh, Polaris razors, you know a lot of times that they get, they're hot in the cab, there's a lot of dust, so we're going to see if we can fix some of that today. So stick around. Okay, so we took the seats out, we just washed this thing up, and the first thing we're going to be doing is pulling the, this cover right here over the tunnel, which your coolant lines run through there, and uh, heat from the radiator bulbs through this. So I'm going to pull this out, and I'll show you what I'm going to be insulating up here first so let's get to it all right so we removed the center console here as you can see and I power washed it out to clean everything out in there and uh, these cup holders in this you know they always get so warm I went to the hardware and got some spray foam you know what we're gonna do with the spray foam is spray foam around the cup holders and just above them and whatever expands out trim it off to insulate these all right so we got the cup holder spray foamed and i waited till it was like hardened up a little bit so it'd still be meshable and i put this back on everything fits good and it's got a few inches of foam insulation around it and then back here along this spot I always noticed there was quite a bit of air blowing in, so I bought some rubber sealant for like uh, boats and RVs, and I ran a strip of that across there and bolted it back together. So that should take care of that. And some Armaflex foam back in here to stop air from blowing through on both sides. And then I'm not even sure if it works, this piece of white foam behind the seat belt where there's a little gap and that sh should help that a little bit but now for the air intake up front these are my heater hoses that I have under here heater cores up under there but for the air intake I'm gonna have it blow in right here It'll be a two inch pipe and I have a manifold uh, 3D printed like a little flange, I guess, to mount it right there. So I go through there. In here on the back side, that's down in here if you can see it. It'll come, come up over and poke up here and I'll have, I'll make a little hood scoop as a 3D print one. One that just not real big, but kind of small where I can hide it. And that should work for that, but I'm still waiting for stuff to 3D print. And this is the flange I was talking about, which will mount to the firewall and another one underneath to mount to the, the plastic of the razor. So, just gotta wait for that stuff to print and then I'll start installing it and drilling a couple holes. Alright, so in the last part of the video you saw I was waiting for some 3D parts to get done print get done printing. So uh, uh it's like a week later now and they're done printing, which didn't take that long, I just didn't have time to get to this. But here are my two flanges that the pipes are gonna glue into, which will go underneath the hood. One will mount to the firewall and one will mount to this uh, plastic here. And here's one hood scoop. I printed it on low quality, so that's why it looks so bad. 
That's one of them I might use. Or there's this one, which is a lot bigger. And I'm thinking I'm going to mount it up here. And if this works, obviously I'm going to... I'll redesign this one. And I'll put a better looking one on there. So I'm going to grab my drill. And we're going to drill a couple holes. And then we'll start plumbing this fresh air intake into the cab. Alright, so this flange right here is going to get mounted on the back side of the firewall. Just... Uh, right up in here so it blows air into the cab and later on if I want to put a pipe in and turn it I can but for now it's just gonna blow in air to get it to circulate around the cab so I'll get my hole drilled and we'll bolt this up in there put a little sealant on there and bolt it up all right we have our flange bolted in here and of course, I measured like twice and I still screwed up on a hole, so I had to move it over a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the white part there later on will be black, so you won't even notice it. And we're down low and we're underneath the dash, and you probably won't even see this. So I'm not too concerned about it. <clears throat> but on the outside, you can see it's just bolted to the firewall. And I mean, I can use my my two-inch PVC fitting here to go up and then over just above the headlight. And later on, I think I'll I'll probably end up changing it. I'm just kind of testing stuff out, but I'll probably do it just in ABS, just because it's black instead of the white. If I paint it, it'll just flake off and really look like crap. But yeah, I got that on, and now. I'm going to work on the one up above the headlight, get that mounted, and then we can plumb these in. Now we got our hole drilled up here in the front. I made sure the flange is going to bolt on the bottom and I have room to get my fittings through uh, above the frame and down to the flange down on the firewall by my feet. So we got to drill the holes out in this. They're already in that, in this, so that'll bolt to the bottom. And bolt the scoop down so we'll get them drilled and we'll bolt this thing together and see how it looks all right so you can see our flange down there is mounted i got it plumbed in and i'll just get right to it and show you uh i wanted to use 45s but there's just not enough room to to do it underneath here and hide everything but you can see we used a 90 we went up around the frame back over then to the hood scoop for the fresh air into the cab from the front of the machine and it's not really blocking anything a little it's a little tight up in here but it turned out pretty good i'm curious if someone was interested in buying a kit like this obviously not this one it'd be a little more professional looking not like it came right out of home depot but if someone was interested uh, how much would they be willing to pay and you know if they want to buy it or not just leave me a comment in the comments just out of curiosity or if you're building one yourself so we're going to throw the windshield on this and throw the seats back in it too now and we'll go take it for a little spin and see if if it's a complete fail or if I get some airflow into the cab down by my feet Now how I'm there.